Okay, quick video on Ag Open GPS and some of the changes I've been working on. There's no new features, just uh, trying to make it a little more better on the on the layout and the use of it, which is the hardest part of the whole project is making it user friendly. But anyway, uh, you see the layout's very much the same. Buttons are very different on this side. Panel is the same. Rate control, config here. I uh, moved most of the data into this first panel. Simulator is down here. You have H, J, and K control your speed, stop, and increase, decrease. And B is left, N is center, and M is right. Hitting L resets the simulator. You can turn the simulator off and on. It disappears completely for like using it in the field. Along the bottom, you'll notice that there's three buttons now. Um, someone had requested in regards to making that panel disappear. So now it does it automatically, depending on the size of the screen. If you want it on, hit Batman and the panel comes on. Same when it's big. If you want to just hide the panel, that can be done. So that's, that's kind of cool. Um, the left buttons, you have snap, you have change direction for U-turn, flagging, enable, disable, U-turn, enable, disable, auto steer. These buttons are still all the same. You saw that. Now start is down here. You can start a field, boundary, headland, or reset the trip meter. You just set the trip meter, and it all goes to zero. You can't start a boundary till you start a field. You can't start a headland till you make a boundary. So all that's pretty much idiot proof there. Start a field. And then you have a field started. The uh, setup now is down here for quick. Suppose you don't have this panel. Now you still have access to the configuration. There's a bunch of changes in U-turn. Uh, it has eight possible U-turn options on a, on the headland. Next, the first two are auto and manual button. And then these are all relays that you can turn on and off. Uh, send a control byte out to Arduino to control whatever you want. You can turn them all off, whatever. Uh, entry and exit look the same, except now there's eight choices with eight distances on entry, eight on exit. And of course, now you can edit these to be whatever you want them to be called. Save it. So now when you pick one, there, it's modified to whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to say cedar, whatever. Um, if you want to cancel one of these, just pick the dash and it removes it. Pretty simple in this regard. The um, AB line has changed a lot. Well, not a whole lot, but you still can hit A. It changes to 1 and 10 just for clicking, but you can also now enter 56.789 degrees, and that's what it will be. Enter 0 and it's zero. Um, now, once you've created one of these, now you can add it to a list. I, I, saving AB lines was something I've been avoiding because it's tough. But uh, you can add that AB line to the list. Let's make a more unique one. 34.6543 degrees. Add it now in lines. I'm going to make this prettier too and make this into columns, but right now it's just a list box. This is the one we had just added, 34.36, whatever. Here you can add headings, easting, and a northing. So you want 23.8 degrees, add it to the list. And you can use that. Ta -da. So it's just a quick and easy way to save these. You can pick and delete them. Delete whatever you want. Made a bunch here, testing it. Um, and then whatever one you pick, that's the AB line it's going to use. You can still go back, edit, modify, whatever you want. Back here, save it. It's pretty, uh, pretty flexible. You can save it from any 
and recall it from any field that you've ever opened. Options, these are all still here. You can turn extra guides off and on. You can turn the sky off. You can turn the light bar off. Turn per pursuit on, whatever you want to do. So that all still works. And if you're an auto steer, you can auto turn. Um, these all work the same. It's just really fast to get to. UDP, I shut the entire UDP server off. It's not used anyway, so um, unless someone has a, a real need for the UDP, uh, it's all turned off. It just uses lots of resources that don't need to be there. So it's turned off. And I think that's about it uh, down here. You can see as you turn these guys on, zeros and ones mean the relays are on. It's just an easy, easy way of showing what's on, what's not. I think that's it. Um, here's your east and west and your NMEA statement. How many satellites, what zone you're in, your latitude, longitude, your elevation, what type of fix it is, your gyro um, heading, your the GPS heading coming from the GPS unit your roll, um, and then boundary area, how far your, your pivot point is away from the headland, and how far your tool is away from the headland. And so cool. Um, try to break it. Looking forward to, uh, oh yeah, as you can see, it's in French Canadian, so it's like European. Uh, it was really tricky to get this stuff to work, being able to do commas for periods and periods for commas. And uh, you are forced to use, even if you're in Europe, you are forced to use a decimal. Sorry about that, but I'll try to figure out how to be able to enter text and save it and do all that stuff back and forth. But the easiest solution right now is just make it an invariant culture and then just save them as decimals or put them in as decimals. But it does work. That's big 65. Okay, thanks.